Our emotions go up and down in life. At times, we are happy, cheerful, and hopeful for a bright tomorrow. Other times, we get sad, disheartened, and even a little hopeless. There are many reasons why we may feel low, whether it's due to hardships of life, breaks in relationships, mm. loss of a loved one, or failures we may come across. While it is perfectly normal to feel sad, how do we know when sad feelings turn into a medical condition of depression? Depression is a common problem affecting people of all ages. Almost one in three people experience an episode of depression in their life, but oftentimes it is not recognized or treated. So what exactly is depression? How do we identify its signs in ourselves and others? And what should we do if someone has it? Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hi, I'm Dr. M from Smart Clinic. Today, let's talk about depression. Dr. M, what is normal grief and what is depression? All of us experience grief at some point in our lives. Feelings of sadness and emptiness are normal human responses to any loss. That can be in the form of a family member, a break in relationship, an unexpected failure, a calamity, or for other reasons. Normal grief is usually short-lived, and after a while, we're able to bounce back. These events may leave us with sad memories, and such experiences help us grow in life. On the other hand, depression is a medical problem. It may start as normal grief after a major event in life, or it may start without any apparent reason. The feeling of low mood and sadness becomes too intense and overwhelming. It goes on for long and affects regular life. There's also a deep sense of hopelessness, helplessness, and low self-worth. The person gets stuck in negative thoughts and low mood. The chemicals in the brain are also disturbed. Some chemicals and neurotransmitters are reduced and others may be too much. These changes prolong depressive mood and negative thoughts. And without treatment, it's not easy to come out of this condition. There are effective ways to manage and treat depression. Unfortunately, many times symptoms of depression are not recognized and an appropriate treatment is not provided, making the person suffer for a long time. Dr. M, what are signs of depression? And what can we do if we are concerned that someone is suffering from it? Depression can present with a variety of different features. Each person may be different from another. Symptoms of depression include a low mood that persists most days of the week and goes on for more than two weeks. Along with this low mood, the person may be having feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, and at times a sense of guilt. They may also experience low energy and motivation and struggle with concentrating in everyday activities like reading or watching TV. They lose interest in things that they used to enjoy before. They may also have difficulty with sleep and appetite, sometimes eating and sleeping too much and other times being unable to sleep and having a poor appetite. Depression can affect women, men, young and old. Sometimes it's hard to recognize and people may not be comfortable in sharing their feelings. This is why it's important for doctors and family members to look out for symptoms of depression. By asking two simple questions, we can identify people who may be at risk of having depression. First, over the last two weeks, how often have you felt depressed, feeling down, or hopeless? And second, in the last two weeks, how often have you had very little interest or pleasure in doing things that you used to enjoy? A score is given based on how frequent these feelings were not at all, several days, more than half a days, or nearly every day. If the total score is three or more, then doctors should investigate further to see if the patient is suffering from depression and see if they need further workup and treatment. As family and friends, if we are concerned about someone who may be suffering from depression, then checking in with them can be an important part of getting the help they need. Talking to them in a non-judgmental way with care and empathy can help reduce the stigma that many people feel when struggling with a mental health condition. Keep in mind that having depression is not a sign of weakness. Rather, it's a medical condition and it's not the person's fault. Encouraging someone to seek professional help can make a difference. 
Sometimes people who suffer from depression begin to feel that things are so hopeless and will never change that they start having thoughts of wanting to die. In some cases, they may even begin to have thoughts of harming themselves. It's important to ask about these thoughts if you are concerned that a friend or family member may be depressed. If someone is struggling with such thoughts, then providing emotional support and encouraging them to seek professional help quickly can be life-saving. Dr. M, how is depression treated? Does it go away on its own? Sometimes an episode of depression can get better by itself, but most of the times it needs treatment, especially when it interferes with day-to-day -day life. Treatment usually includes a combination of medicines, counseling and talk therapy, and building life habits that promote good mental health, like daily exercise, social connection, and good sleep. We now have effective medicines to treat depression. These medicines regulate the chemicals in the brain to help them bring back to normal balance. They enhance the effects of chemicals that promote good mood. There are many different medicines available. Which medicine is right for you will depend on what other symptoms or medical problems you may have. It is important to know that these medicines take time to have their effect. Typically, it takes six weeks to have their full effect. Your doctor may adjust the dose, add another medicine, or change to a different medicine if symptoms are still not controlled. Do not stop the medicines all of a sudden, as it can cause problems with severe mood change. Rather, discuss it with your doctor if you want to stop any medicines. Remember, depression is a common illness and can be very serious at times. We all need to play our part in helping those who suffer by it by recognizing the signs, providing emotional support, and facilitating and seeking the right therapies. Share this video with others to increase awareness about depression. Regular exercise can be an important part of treatment for depression and may help prevent future episodes. Exercise has many benefits for health and mood. So make some time to do exercise for 30 minutes, four or five times in a week. Go for a run or a fast walk, ride a bicycle, hike on a trail, swim or play sports that you enjoy. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.